Our all-afternoon music special this afternoon on the Jim Ferguson Sunday Show is an interview with Jerry Utley, a young Louisville musician. I first met Jerry quite by accident about two years ago. To explain how I met him, I must destroy that popular and personally spread rumor that I derive my millions solely by doing this Sunday show. Alas, it is untrue. For Monday through Friday, barring illness or rest, I may be found here at the Cuddly Giant, locked away in one of our soundproof caves known professionally as production studios. Each studio is tied together by way of a dial monitor system. Just as you dial a telephone number to reach a friend's home, we in the Cuddly Giant Studios may dial up another studio and listen to the production in progress, or dial up our own studio to find out what we're supposed to be doing. And to make a long story short, one day I got the wrong number, and I couldn't believe my ears. For from the speaker, one of the most dynamic voices I'd heard in a long time. Since, in fact, it was a wrong number, I knew not from whence it came, which studio. But I began my search. Finally, in an obscure TV studio, I found the source, Jerry Utley, rehearsing for an appearance on Channel 11's Omelette with Milton Metz. Unflapped and very professionally, I commented on his talent. Wow. The wind it roars, and the rain it pours, and the lightning is struck everywhere. And the thunder rolled through the air And the houses, they all crashed down And the trees were smashed to the ground Calls on the tide And David said Hey, do walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will be no evil. Thou art with me, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord.
Our all-afternoon music special this afternoon on the Jim Ferguson Sunday Show features an interview with local Louisville musician Jerry Utley. We talk about breaking into the music business. Breaking into the music field is not the easiest thing in the world. No, not it's... at all. So it's, it can really be painful, uh, especially for somebody that's sensitive and really has a lot of pride in what they do. And I like I've had one experience where... Uh, I read this ad in a paper one time, and then I called up there, and they called me back, and it was in Cincinnati, and uh, they told me, you know, that they were interested in me, and they said, do you have any tapes? And I said, yes, and they said, well, bring them with you, and bring your guitar, and come on up. So I drove all the way to Cincinnati, and uh, they listened to them, and they said, wow, you know, that's, that's really great. Now, place a song on your guitar. So I, I played them a song on my guitar, and they said, well, that's real nice. And then uh, what, what it boiled down to is they said, uh, for $2,500, we'll make you a star. And otherwise, you know, get out. <laughs> so uh, I left, and I drove all the way back home, you know, feeling down in the dumps because I didn't have any money to do anything like that. And uh, they sent me a letter, and it says, We've joined another group of uh, recording studios. It was the same company. This yeah, it was the same. Letter. Right. And they said, we'd like for you to come back up because we have added funds now and we can make the recordings without uh, any financial services from you. So, what uh, they call front money. Right. So I drove all the way back up there. And it, what they had done was put that letter up to the front to get me back up there to try to con me again out of $2,500. They, they, they wanted the same deal again. Right. <laughs> and I felt like just uh, mashing my guitar over the guy's head. But uh, I held it down and uh, I just walked out and had a long ride home. <laughs> well, you got to keep the faith. Oh, I do. I, I'm, I'm not going to give up. I believe in music. I could just sit around making music all day long As long as I'm making music I can't do nobody wrong And who knows maybe someday I'll come up with a song It makes the people want to stop a fussing and fighting Just long enough to sing along I believe in music don't you know I believe in love? I believe in music. God knows I believe in love. Music is love, and love is music if you know what I mean. People who believe. Are the happiest I've ever seen So clap your hands, stomp your feet Shake your tambourine Lift your voices to the sky Cause God loves you when you sing I believe in music Don't you know I believe in love I believe in music God knows I believe in love Music is the universal language And love is a peace To brotherhood and peace And understanding the living in harmony So take your brother by the hand Sing along with me Find out what it really means to be young and rich and free I believe in music Don't you know I believe in love I believe in music Don't you know I afternoon music special this afternoon on the Jim Ferguson Sunday Show features an interview with local Louisville musician Jerry Utley. When last we left the conversation, we were talking about the importance of determination in breaking into the music field. So we're talking about uh, determination in music, right. but it comes from a, a, 
uh, a deeper sense of determination uh, in general. Right. Yeah, uh, you have to have a, a lot of perseverance and a lot of faith. And without faith, uh, and, you know, without God, you can't do anything. And you just, you have to believe. But it's not easy. No, it's not easy, but I believe. I believe for every drop of rain that falls, a flower grows. And I believe that somewhere in the darkest night, a candle glows. I believe for everyone who goes astray, someone will come to show the Leave. 